Okay, hello everybody. This is, uh, I just picked up this 1990 Japanese Army Mitsubishi Jeep and uh, gonna do a bit of a walk around and uh, kind of show you all the cool bits on this uh, on this Jeep. I'm, I just drove it for an hour and I'm, I'm really shocked at how well this thing drives. I mean, it was uh, no shaking. Uh, it, it was solid on the highway. And uh, I also got this trailer along with the deal and even got a wood propeller thrown into the deal and a UE tail rotor blade. Uh, what's kind of cool about this uh, Jeep, it's made by Mitsubishi and people don't really know that Mitsubishi made uh, Jeeps from 1953 to about 1998 under license to Willys and uh, this Jeep has a, a 2.7 liter turbo diesel and it puts out about 94 uh, horsepower. The, uh, the drivetrain is pretty much indestructible. I think it's got a super tight industrial style gearbox. Uh, it's got a Dana 30 front end and it's got a Dana 44 uh, rear end. Uh, really cool, I'll kind of start off here in the, uh, in the cockpit and uh, it's got a, a trans. It's got a uh, also has a Dana uh, transfer case, Dana 18 transfer case with uh, dual uh, sticks there for the uh, for the transfer case on the floor. Uh, has a, a lot of Japanese writing and Japanese placards on the uh, the dashboard. A lot a lot more upgraded than the old uh, antique Willys Jeeps. It has some uh, nice seats that actually are comfortable and, and actually um, move back. The, uh, the, the, the passenger side one actually flips up and there's a, a toolbox under there. The, uh, it's got two fold down seats on, uh, on the right and it's got one big uh, single folder on the, on the left. And has a shovel on the side. I kind of like how it's got a, a rough look to it. I'm, I'm, I'm not really going to change that. Uh, I'm going to make it me mechanically sound, but kind of keep it like a user that just pulled out of the out of the motor pool. Uh, it's actually got a pretty cool. It's got three windshield wipers, and it actually has a hand-operated windshield wiper as a backup. And I thought that was pretty pretty slick. It has a uh, 24 volt two battery system and it has a, uh, I guess, a, a, something you could plug into on the side over there. NVG lights below the, the, uh, the, the headlights. And one way you can tell these Mitsubishi Jeeps because they, they came with these uh, headlight guards and that's kind of uh, the Mitsubishi style. And also under there you can kind of see the Mitsubishi symbol. It's got a, uh, a tow bar. I, I don't think that was uh, really put in. Uh, I think that was put in extra. It wasn't a Jap Army uh, type of uh, accessory. In the, in the grill there, you can see where that turbo uh, intercooler is. Okay, in the front, we got a, a PTO, power takeoff driven winch. And pretty sure this is what they call a Koenig winch but there's a, a Japanese placard, I'm not really sure. Down there you can kind of see the gearing. And these things are probably pretty old school and destructible. Got a little uh, fog light over there. Coming around over here. The hubs are uh, these cutlass hubs, which I read are pretty indestructible also. Got an ax on the uh, side of the Axe on the side. What I like about this thing, everything is all there. Somebody, I think, put these Marine Corps symbols. Uh, nothing against you Marines, but I think the Marine symbol is going to have to go to kind of get it back to the uh, the Jap Army uh, look. I also scored a uh, a brand new camo net. I'm going to put that up on the uh, on the roof. Get that all set up in the back here. Uh, he put a brand new spare on on there for me. Got a 
fuel can that kind of looks kind of rustic. I, I kind of like the look of that. And uh, got some blackout drive lights over there on the right. And uh, looks like a backup light. Also got this uh, cool whip antenna. Uh, the trailer, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is what they call a M416 trailer, or maybe it's uh, a div, uh, something like it. It has a uh, parking brake so you can kind of park it and, and, and leave it there. It won't roll away. Uh, didn't have any problems driving it down, but it's pretty cool to have this as an extra. Oh, we got a Marine Corps license plate on the back there. I don't know how long that's going to last either. Got a, got a, all the lights work. They re-rigged the wires, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let me go over here to the engine compartment. Kind of show you what's uh, under the hood. I got to watch it. It's a little dirty, won't be like that for long. Uh, as you can see, we got two batteries, 24 volt system. There's the, uh, the turbo over there. I'll get this thing all cleaned up nice the next couple days. But man, it just purrs down the down the road. Uh, I'm, I'm really shocked at how, how well it dries. So uh, gonna have fun with this, cleaning it up, getting a little a little uh, ready for the road. But next time you see it, it'll probably be even cooler. I'm sure of that. So uh, just wanted to give you guys a video, kind of show you this rare hard to find kind of uh, Mitsubishi Jeep and uh, until next time